Hello friends, you welcome back. My name is Dr. Roof and today I am again with you in another case of root canal treatment of the mandibular first molar tooth. As the patient visits to me and complains that uh, the tooth is consistently bleeding uh, since few months, uh, whenever the patient is eating something, whenever the patient is talking, any time in the day or the night, uh, the tooth starts to bleeding. So there is no pain in this tooth, there is no swelling in this tooth and only the complaint is that, that the tooth is bleeding. And I did my clinical examination. I see there is a big cavity on the mandibular first molar tooth. Uh, you can have a look on this photograph here. So you can see this uh, big uh, cavity. And this cavity is bleeding. It is because of the inflamed pulp. Uh, that's called the pulp polyp. It is due to the severe infection uh, that the pulp is inflamed since very long time. And which caused the bleeding uh, from this tooth. You can also see that there is a the, uh, lot of calculus on the surrounding two teeth and on the premolars and on the molar tooth. Everywhere you can see there is a uh, huge flex of calculus on the surrounding teeth. Uh, so that needs to be removed before starting the root canal treatment. So what I did first is that I placed some temporary filling over this uh, cavity so that I can clean all the area, all the calculus from the adjacent teeth and to reduce the microbial load and the surrounding teeth. You can see here very well that the cavity is temporary filled and then I start the cleaning of the adjacent teeth. And the first I start the cleaning on the premolar side. So I clean all these things. Uh, you can see that very well. And after that I go to the molars and I start cleaning from that side. So that the, I clean all the area and I start my root canal treatment. Let's have a look at that. This is a preoperative radiograph of the patient where you can see that the decay involved with the pulp and uh, the pulp canals are very well white so the root canal is not going to be very much difficult but the most important thing is that there might, might be a lot of bleeding uh, from this uh, inflamed pulp so what I did is that I look at all the canals there are the four canals on this tooth so I cleaned all the canals I uh, shaped them very well and I prepared them very well after that I start my obturation part I obturate all the four canals you can see that on the final radiograph this is the distal view radiograph where you can see the two mesial canals and both the mesial canals ends into the two separate foramens and there are also the two distal canals in the distal root uh, that ends into the single foramen but I am not able to get a shot so that you can see both the distal canals uh, separately and after that I filled the pulp chamber with the flowable uh, 3M composites and the rest of the cavity is then filled with the nano hybrid uh, universal restorative composites and by this I complete my whole of the procedure in the single sting and it took around uh, me two hours for the complete procedure. So let's have a look again that uh, this is the thing before I start the treatment and this is after I complete my all of the procedure including root canal treatment and the restorative part. This is the another view from the buccal aspect. My advice for everyone is that if you have any dental issues please and please visit your dentist so that your problem will be solved. Do not wait until the problem becomes much complicated and it will cause severe issues in the future. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Roof and see you in the next one.